What can I say to the game? Uh, we have a very important group in our group. It's the Emirates, Bahrain, and also also the Nepal. Uh, we start to play not well because we lose the game at home against the Bahrain 2-0. And uh, now, now front of us is a second game uh, here in the Nepal. Uh, it's not easy to find uh, many details about the Nepal team, uh, but but we was a little surprised that Nepal qualified with the Laos to the group, and uh, and now we just only uh, watch the game in Emirates. Uh, okay, Nepal lost 4-0, but uh, I think for Emirates was not easy game because because we 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 are watching some statistic from this game, we are watching some situation and Nepal play well and they maybe have a 11-12 shooting to the target and if, if any team, if any team it's possible to create a chance and score the goals in Emirates that is not bad uh, for sure, for sure our team is ready we don't have a not easy way here to the uh, Nepal because our fly from Jeddah delayed one hour and we should and we we must wait in the, the uh, in the Hamad airport more than seven hours and then travel late. Yes, the the player was yesterday very tired after the way, but today is much better and uh, all of all our players which are with us they are okay. They are ready to do the, all the best. And today just only last training on the pitch, and uh, but I hope that uh, we can do the do good job, even when we play here in the Nepal, because because for our player is also the really good motivation to to win the game, because it's qualification group to the World Cup, yes, and and for sure we all of us all of us we want to do all the best. Thank you, coach. Uh, I'd like to ask the same question to the captain. Uh, team preparation and expectation from the opponent. Well, first of all, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I think the last match we played in the Nepal was in 2019. The team changed a lot. I want to look at that. We, as players, this match is extremely important for us for the game in the match. نتمنى من خلالها العودة إلى المسار الصحيح كلنا كلاعبين عاقدين العزم على تحسين الصورة الذي ظهرنا بها في المباراة السابقة وإن شاء الله نعود بالثلاثة النجاد. Since our last match with Nepal in 2019, our team has changed a lot. We are optimistic to go back to the path and to win some matches for the. Remaining uh, competition of the competition. Thank you, Captain. So, any questions to the both of the captain? Please kindly raise your hand and put them. And please do indicate who you are asking the question for. Uh, question to the coach. Uh, it's nearly winter here, and the game is at 7 p.m. So, do you think that will have an effect on your team uh, acclimatizing? I think. I think uh, it's no problem for us. Our last, our first game also. In the Abha was at nine o'clock, nine p.m. is no 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 problem for us because uh, all our preparation before the also the Bahrain game we have every day the training at five six o'clock. Uh, also, also uh, our first game in Abha is two thousand three hundred meters over the sea. That also the acclimatization for us is not big problem because Kathmandu is one thousand four hundred meters over the sea. Everything is okay. Also, the weather same. We are happy. We are happy here because also the weather is very nice, and I think seven o'clock is no problem. And also, also the weather is also not problem. Everything is perfect. Expecting fifteen thousand fans at home games normally. Do you think that will have an effect on your players? Uh, we are happy if the spectators will come because the soccer without the spectators is nothing. Uh, the soccer is sport for fans. And if if the fans will come on the pitch, for sure, for sure, this is a big support for your team, for sure.
but we are also happy when we can play front of the fans, front of the. If it's a if it's a tribune, the empty. <laughs> this is not not sport. Yes, everybody to like to play front of the spectators, and we suppose that for sure the spectators will come and and the the atmosphere will be amazing, and best team w will win. Uh, yeah, please. You missed that, please. Listen to the captain. We have you have talked about the previous match. Can you compare the both team? I mean, any changes? How many players are there? Then we will be in the seventh. هل عندك معلومات كم التغييرات اللي في المنتخبين؟ لاعبينه ولاعبينه؟ اعتقد بالنسبه لمنتخبنا يمكن تغير 80% من اللاعبين يعني. بالنسبه لمنتخبهم ما فيش المعلومات الكافيه لكن كمنتخب احنا تغيرنا يمكن 80%. The changes in Yemen football team is around 80% of the team squad. Uh, about Nibal, we, uh, we don't have any information about Nibal. Uh, Nibal, the players that are playing in Yemen is some changes. <coughs> The captain was there. Yes, he was there. He played. Yeah, okay, please. Tell us the number then, please. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, now the situation in Yemen start to be much better because two months ago start start the league after the long time because I was also 2014-15 head coach of the Yemen team and after that was start be war. Now start to be much better. Also our player now uh, have a chance to play abroad. For example, our captain is in the Bahrain and many other players in, in the Bahrain. But but still still is not everything well. We are one, one coaching staff team for the both team, for the Olympic team and also for the first team. And we start to start to build the new team the, uh, for the future, future team. And we start to work one year ago. And uh, in the January, uh, the last, last official game for the first team was in the Gulf Cup in Iraq. And after that, we have a many competition with the Olympic team under 23. And also, if you check now, actually, our team, there is a more, more than 50%, maybe 60-70% of the player which have an age under 23. And now, uh, we have only, only the last, last test against the Sri Lanka. We, we qualify with the Sri Lanka one month ago. And uh, after that was after a long time the very tough game against the Bahrain team because you know the Bahrain team is 86 in the FIFA ranking we are 156 <laughs> this is a big big difference but but okay the game was not bad uh, for sure the Bahrain team was the better but but we just only make two strong mistake and then we get the two goals but um, but as we say as we say now now we have a mix in our team. Uh, we have a famous player, we have experienced player, but also some very young player. And we hope, we hope that we, we are going step by step forwards. And uh, all these things help us too much. Because many players is abroad now from the summer. And also the Bahraini League start to start to play. And all these things, these things, they help us too much for the next season.